Hello, everybody. Happy February. All right, if you checked out Blue Night Rubber Stamps, it had a brand new stamp release in January 2020, and this one is so super cute. It is called Climbing Kitten. Now, great stamp, very easy to color in. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. And we're going to make a background and color this image in with some brushos. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is put the stamp aside just for a second. This is gonna get a little messy. I have some Bristol mixed media cut down to five and a quarter by four here. I have my little splatter box and hopefully, yeah, okay, great, you guys can see everything. I have my little Tim Holtz sprayer here and the three colors I wanna use for the background are um, gamboge, orange, and yellow. Okay, so very simple, kind of kind of like the sunset background. This tree is, this cat, kitten is getting into some mischief. And I'm just going to lightly take my distress sprayer and mist the background here. We don't want it to be super wet. We just want enough mist to give it um, something to stick to. And I'm going to start with the gamboge, which is like the darkest red, and kind of apply that in the bottom. And you'll see where it's sticking because those crystals will activate. These are watercolor crystals. And they will activate. And we will spray it some more to bring some of that color out. The next color I'm going to do in the center area is the orange. A little bit goes a long way. And then I'm going to do the yellow on the top. Now I'm going to take my sprayer again and mist this. I'm going to use my other sprayer here. Very fine mist, and you will see those colors get activated and start to kind of move around. And I'm going to take a heat tool and just kind of um, move that around with my heat tool. I feel like I've lost a little bit of my gamboge. These are a mixture of crystals. So this gamboge is kind of like an, a red, an orange, and a yellow all together. So I'm going to stick some more of that on here, the bottom. A little more concentration of color, a little more spritzing. All right, actually, I'm going to add just a little bit of red to that. That might be too much red. We'll see here in a second. Oh yeah, look at those crystals starting to activate. That's why I like using this little box because it contains the spray. There's paper towels at the bottom. So anything that kind of drips off the edge, I don't have to worry about. Of course, you can pick this up and kind of manipulate where you want that to go. But this is just the background for me. So it's not going to be the main part of my image just kind of want those colors to be splattered in the background like that so again going to go back in and heat it up just putting a sprinkle of more orange in there i'm not going to put any more water in i'm going to let the crystals activate Now what you want to do as this is drying is you also want to flip it over and dry the back side. That will prevent 
um, all is curling. So what it's curling because the moisture is leaving the paper. So it will flatten back out once um, that moisture is pretty much gone. And now you'll see it'll go back down. Now I do have a little bit of moisture on the ends there. And you can just take your paper towel and pick that up. Now what's nice about this mixed media paper is you can continue to go in, reactivate this, spread those crystals around, and it absorbs the water um, and it's not going to um, pill up and you know you, you have a good quality paper here to do this kind of technique. Okay, so we're gonna dry this again. You can run this through your die cutting machine to flatten it out some more. We're going to be adding more to this, so I'm not worried about it right now. Okay, so now I want to stamp the image out. I am going to use my stamp positioning tool and grab my mini Misty out here. Because this is a rubber stamp, we're going to take out our black foam piece. And I'm just gonna kind of eyeball right there. I have a little piece of sticky grid paper down underneath there. I'm going to place my stamp pretty much on the middle there. And position that. Now, if you wanna anchor this down, of course you can add magnets I think right there will be okay with the magnet and it doesn't interfere with anything oops magnets a little too thick okay so it's moving around my sticky grid okay stay hopefully we get this first time we're gonna use versifying Claire which is a good ink to use if you're going to be doing water coloring it's a pigment ink and I'm using my blue night rubber stamps Magnetic handle. If you have not tried this yet, it is great because a lot of times, and you guys have seen me do it, where I pick up the stamp pad and I drop it, um, but this fits. You get these little magnetic, um, these are sticky back uh, placement guides. You put those on your most used ink pads. I have it on here. I have it on my Versamark, and then this handle holds onto it tight. It's not going to come off. There's heavy duty magnets in there, and it's going to hold on to it. And so you hold that when you are inking up your stamp. Makes it so much easier. And then what I'll do is I'll probably have to stamp this on the background um, two or three times. Again, just because this is a mixed media paper, so it's a little thicker. We'll see how this comes out.
Hopefully the curl in my paper didn't affect the stamping. That actually is pretty stinking good. I am going to leave it like that. Wow, first time. Okay, great. So I'm gonna hit this with the heat tool real quick. We wanna dry that ink. Okay, so what I like about this is that red, orange, yellow background is also the background of the sky, but we can also leave that there for the leaves. So we don't have to make this a spring scene. So we can layer colors on top of there. I have a couple of different colors I wanna use. So I have moss green, um, some lime green. I have brown for the tree and I have gray for our little kitty cat. And I'm just gonna use a water brush and I have some paper towel here. And all I'm gonna do is kind of, let me see if I have a little palette. There we go. So I have a little palette here and I can just put a little squirt of water in here. My sprayer is not cooperating today. So just a little bit, and maybe I do some of the lime green up here. The moss green down here, and that way I can kind of mix them together. My little brown, these are my little swatches that I stuck to the top there. And some gray for the kitty. Whoops, let me put that over here. Okay, and you can always add more colors if you don't like your concentration, if it's not dark enough. So there you can see that's the lime green. This is the moss green, which is definitely darker. This is the brown, and this is the gray. So we have now turned these watercolor crystals into watercolors and we can now color with them. Now I think my gray is too dark. I'm gonna add a little more water there to lighten that up a little bit. And let's see what we get here. We just take my little watercolor brush and color in on our little kitty. And if you get a chance, head on over to Blue Night Rubber Stamps and check out their blog. There are a number of talented designers on the design team that have used this stamp in so many other different ways to give you an idea um, on how versatile their stamps are. I've always raved about their artist quality of their stamps because they're very easy to color in so many different techniques you can do with them. Okay, so our kitty is now colored in. I'm gonna go back in with some of that color, a little more concentrated, and anywhere that our little kitty is a little darker, I'm gonna add more color. And anywhere you have color that you don't want it, just go back in with a little paper towel and pull that color back out. So we're gonna let our kitty dry. We might come back in and add a second coat to him just to cover up some of the red on there, but 
for the most part, I think he looks super cute. I have my little paper towel here, and all I'm gonna do is squeeze my water brush, and it will release any of that extra ink that's in there. The color, I should say, until the water brush runs pretty clean. Okay, so now let's do our tree, which I have this brown. Same thing, just gonna go in. Add some color. Now, of course, you can do this with your watercolor markers. You can do this with watercolor color pencils. You can do it with regular watercolors. You don't have to use brushes. Use what you have. Um, Lindy's gang sells some powdered elements that are water reactive as well. So use what you have. Um, I will link everything down in the description for you. So if you do want to try this method out, you'll be able to purchase the supplies I have listed. And if I'm going too fast, you can press the left side of the screen two times, double tap, and it will go back 10 seconds. And if I'm going too slow, you don't wanna see all this coloring, you can press the right side of the screen two times, double tap it, and it will fast forward 10 seconds. And if you're new to my channel, please click the subscribe when it comes up at the end. That will let you know anytime I post any new videos. And I do all kinds of stamping. I do foiling. Occasionally I do craft items. Um, scrapbooking once in a while. Paint pouring. So, And uh, I just want to help people be more creative. Okay, so now we're getting some color in here. This is looking pretty good. Now we wanna go in and do our tree. I'm not even gonna clean my water brush because I'm okay with the brown being in there because I want this tree to kind of look like a fall scene. So adding this dark color with the brown into the leaves, vine by me. And again, we have some of that red and orange in the background. Also makes it really pretty. Let's see, I think the... The lime green is just too light. I like the darker green better here. And it's just like a kid when you learn to color. You just stay within the lines. And actually, even with this watercolor look, you don't have to stay within the lines because we want it to look watercolor. And that's what watercolor does. It gets kind of messy and flowy and mixes with everything. brown, mix it with the green. If you wanted to, you could take some of the red and mix that with the brown. That would be a really, color, uh, really nice color to do if you're going for more of a fall scene. And the artist has already drawn in hatch lines here, which tell you that you know, that's kind of the shadow of the leaf. You know, you want that to be a little darker. So you know, okay, maybe I want to do a little darker color there versus where there's no hatch lines where um, that's not going to be the, um, it's going to be a highlight instead of a shadow on the leaf. really coming together. I really like adding that brown in with the green.
Okay, that looks pretty good. I do want to go in, I think, and add a little bit more gray to our kitty. And I'll do all over color first. And then I'll go back in and darken those areas back up again where I think it should be darker. And I think I want a little bit more brown. some brown and I'm going to darken the gray a little bit by adding a little bit more gray in there. There we go, we have our little mischievous little kitten stuck in the tree, waiting for someone to come rescue him. And I think this makes a great autumn card by having that red, orange, yellow kind of background there. And then having that mixture of colors down in these leaves where they kind of take on some of that background and look like a little autumn scene. And then I'll just hit this with the heat tool again. I'll cut it down and then I'll put it on a card base. And I might go in with a black gel pen just to accentuate his nose and his eyes a little bit after it's dried. So there we go, guys. If you have any questions, post them down below. Once again, this stamp was sponsored by Blue Knight Rubber Stamps as part of their January 2020 new release. Um, and this is called Climbing Kitten. I will link everything down in the description for you below. If, if you like this video, I appreciate your thumbs up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.